Magic the Gathering's newest set, The Lord of the Rings Tales of Middle Earth is now out and Wizards of the Coast sent us these items to unbox so let's check them out in this video. So we start off with the smallest item in the list, this Jumpstart Pack for the set. So a uh, Jumpstart Pack, as its name suggests, is an easy way for you to get into magic in the sense that you can just take these two packs, shuffle them together and you can already have a game of magic. It's great for beginners to get into the game and to get familiarized with the concept of MTG as a card game. So basically, these two boosters, you just open them up and let's do that right here. Each booster is labeled with the mana that it is associated with and this has the blue mana called Trixie and this is a white mana called Courageous. So you just take these two packs, shuffle them together and you can start a game of magic with another player that also has these two packs. So each pack has all of the cards you need to start a game of magic including creature cards, spell cards and of course basic land cards which are also fall. You also get this sexy full art land from the Lord of the Rings set. So that's the jumpstart pack and now let's go to also something of a jumpstarty thing. <laughs> this is called the starter kit. This starter kit in particular has two 60 card decks that you can you know just unbox and start playing right away. Slides out and you've got a play guide which you know explains everything you need to know about MTG, the basics anyway, and also two cardboard boxes to keep your cards. So deck one of two has Sauron the Leadless Eye as the legendary creature that is also a mythic rare card for this deck. Aside from this, you also got something from the good side of the lore, which are Aragorn and Arwen Wed. Yes, that's the name of this Mythic Rare card right here. So inside this deck, on top of the Mythic Rare card that you get, also foil, you also get four other rare cards right here. For this deck, we've got Frodo, Determined Hero, Gandalf, White Rider, Galadriel, Gift Giver, and of course, Bilbo's Ring. So those are the four rare cards, and the rest are a mix of common and uncommon cards. Of course, land cards are also provided and you can really just take these two decks and play against your friend or family. Let's talk about some of the other accessories that were given by Wizards of the Coast, starting with this tote bag, which is actually given away in the MTG party last weekend. There's this bigger tote bag and there's also this cuter tote bag. We also have got these two pretty nice pins with Magic the Gathering's logo that looks like the Eye of Sauron and this is, I have no idea, but it does look nice. And we also got this very nice wooden block encased in this velvety sleeve and, okay. <laughs> this block is actually used for the new The Ring Tempts You mechanic and it is quite a nice touch in the sense that you know you don't have to have to use the card and you got this very nice display thing to play with the new mechanic. Right, so that's that. Let's put all of this aside and start unboxing the set booster. So a set booster is not meant to be played as a draft or any other limited play. Instead, it's meant to be more exciting to open in the sense that you've got more chances to get rarer cards and all pack comes with a guaranteed foil. There is also a structure to this particular booster where you have a chance to open multiple rare or even multiple mythic rare cards. So depending on your luck, you could get some very expensive cards out of this pack. Why you won't be getting the one of one, the one ring out of this collector box because that's reserved for the collector booster in the English language, you can still get some high value items from this pack. The moment you open up a box of set booster, you will get this box topper. And let's see what we get here. Ooh, this looks nice. This is Bagan, a mythic rare land, and it looks quite nice with a borderless art. So that's back end, our box topper. And now let's open a couple of set boosters to see how lucky we are. 
As with every single set booster, you will get an art card. And if you're lucky enough, some of the art card is signed, such as this one. So this is the art card, put it here. And unfortunately, we get a token for the last card here, and it's not a card from the list, which could be quite valuable sometimes. Our guaranteed foil card for this pack is Suiting of Smigol, which is just a common card. It's not particularly great, but at least it looks kinda nice. And then we have Faramir, Prince of Iti Italian. I'm sorry, I do not know how to pronounce that. And we also got other cards here, which are not particularly high value. Ooh, but we did get this nice full art for us. And I mean, it's foil too. Looks pretty good. So that's pack one. Let's keep opening to see what we can get. Hopefully a mythic rare in the first three or four. And look at this, although this is just an uncommon card, this is Legolas Counter of Kills and it has the Showcase Ring treatment, which are 30 characters that were chosen from this set, which were tempted by the One Ring throughout the Lord of the Rings lore. Doesn't seem like there are any other nice cards here, so we're just gonna keep opening packs until we get a Mythic Rare. So, art card as usual, and we've got Okina Temple to the Grandfathers. One of the cards in the list, and I'm not sure what's the going rate for this card, and I'll check it out later and put it up here, over here, or over there. So to just let you guys know whether this is valuable or not. And then our foil slot is Rising of the Day, an uncommon card. And wow, we were just talking about it, and here we have the first Mythic Rare from this set, Booster. This is Hugh the Antwood, and it looks like a pretty powerful sorcery spell. Not sure what the going rate now is for this card, but we'll put it up here for you guys to see. And that is our unboxing of some of the products that are sold under Magic the Gathering's newest set, The Lord of the Rings Tales of Middle Earth. We didn't get to unbox the very, very exciting Collector Booster box because that contains the 101 One Ring that was mentioned before that costs at the moment 2 million euro, and that's a uh, whole lot of money but given that only one card is ever printed for the whole market it's very 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 low chance of opening that one but anyway that's our video and hope you guys enjoyed it like this video if you liked it subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and always subscribe for more guests to come here on this channel and nextwave.com